Welcome, welcome. Jen Johnson here with MeetJenJohnson.com. Super excited to talk to you about how you can go out there and connect and communicate and build rapport and relationships and attract more people to you by building and cultivating relationships inside of groups. I'm talking like active boss groups. There's some crazy awesome groups out there that you can really go in and just serve and if you do things the right way you're going to get the attention that you want not only are you going to get the attention you're going to get people that are going to go out there and start tagging you as the go-to person for those things that uh, that you can serve people with those things that you help people with so little tips here um, you know the key that I would say that you want to focus on is not trying to be in 50 million groups okay I know there was a time where it's like add as many groups as you can and I mean I think there's a, a purpose for like the spammier groups you know a lot of times if you just post in there and you're posting uh, things that you want to promote or valuable information it will notify your friends that are a part of that group so it does uh, get attention but I mean you only need to do that so many times in a day, right? The idea behind being a part of active groups is not feeling like you need to be serving in 50 of them, but maybe two or three. Like pick a couple of groups where you just want to uh, be hanging out like consistently. Like this is something you want to do on a consistent basis. You don't want to just... You know, these aren't places where you want to just go in and like post and then disappear. People are going to be like, hello, why are you like stepping all over our like hangout, you know? Um, you want to actually be active, uh, respond to people, cheer people on, answer people's questions when you know the answer. And here's a tip, if you don't know the answer and you wanna answer it, go find the answer. The most resourceful person wins, always, okay? Go on Google and find the answer and then go give it to them. If you are the person that is constantly in there serving, delivering value, and building relationships with these people, you don't need to go in. Do not go in and pitch. Do not go in and sell. Do not post your links. Obviously, you're going to want to read the rules because there's rules. In, in seriously awesome active groups, there are rules that you want to read. You want to make sure that you are following those. You want to develop a good relationship relationship with the admin admin of that group you know introduce yourself and let them know who you are and nowadays if you're joining groups recently you're probably noticing that you have to answer questions and you'll notice like what they'll ask you what are you going to contribute they want you to contribute to these groups they want you to go in there and and uh, be a part of the community like it's a lot of work to go in and start running a group and building a community it's a lot of work for the admin so the more active you can be the more you can contribute the more you can help serve and almost assist the admin, they're going to appreciate it. I promise you, they're gonna really, um, you'll stand out, you'll develop a good relationship, and a lot of times they're looking for people to interview, they're looking for people who are getting results. If they're teaching something in there and you go do it, go share and say, oh my gosh, I just tried what she said to do or what he said to do and this was my result, it does work. Like, go back and give them the praise and go back and give them the kudos for sharing that information with you and then give them that testimony because leaders want testimonies if you have a testimony that's a story and guess what they're going to share that story and that's just going to bring more back to you do you understand how this works like it's that law of reciprocity you're going to be able to get in front of more people they're going to allow their community to become a platform for you to be uh be heard for you to be recognized but it takes you doing that effort of going out and doing the work and then coming back and sharing the result. Don't be afraid to go out and share uh, what it is that's working for you. You know, the other tip too is you, when you first start getting involved in these two to three groups you're going to choose to be a part of, you don't want to go in and just start posting and like start, you know, sharing what you know and like make it all about like, this is what I do. This is what I know. This is the blah, 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 like, me, 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 me. Like, no, first go in and just start commenting. Just start engaging with what's happening. It's like when you show up to a party, like you don't want to be the obnoxious person that walks in the room like, hey, look who just walked in. And you're like the drunk, obnoxious girl. You want to be the person that's just coming in, making the rounds saying hi to people and like, you know, lifting, you know, doing the kudos and doing, you know, one of the groups that I'm a part of, they're, um, 
they just reached a thousand uh, members in like a really short period of time and just go in and say gosh that is so awesome it's so awesome to be a part of a growing community a rapidly growing community and uh, give kudos for that as people are welcoming themselves like make them feel welcome like you know just even though you're not the host of the party like you can still um, go out go around and make people feel welcome it's kind of like you know I think of church, like when I go into church every Sunday, the pastor doesn't greet me when I walk in. That's not the first person I see, but I do see the deans, the deans of the church. They're there. They're welcoming us in and saying hello. So when people walk in, like they're directing them where to go. They're directing them on what's happening. And so people uh, immediately feel like they're welcome there. So you want to be that person. You want to be kind of like the dean or the usher that's going, hey, check this out or check that out or hey, make Make sure welcome make sure you check out the file section you know there's a lot of great tools in there or just be that person that goes above and beyond and delivers think of the things that you that you can show people so uh, when people ask those questions you can go in there and actually answer the questions right it's just really important to respect that like you have to realize it's not your group you don't own it so you have to, it's like this fine line you know um, and then as you start going in and getting more active people start knowing who you are then like posting once a week like make a post schedule for those groups once a week go in there and post something inspirational or something that worked for you or something that you you just want to share as like a tip or a concept whatever it is then like you're more likely to get the engagement if you've already been like hanging out in there so be a solution provider look at what people are asking um, you can also like go in and search keywords and things like that. Like if you want to look up a specific word like Facebook ads or whatever it is that you help people with, you can search in those groups to see if there's anybody talking about that specifically. Because what starts to happen is if you get known for something specific in a group, like those people will start tagging you as that go-to person, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video. Or, you know, and make sure the groups that you're joining are actually uh, congruent with how you can serve. You know, if you are, uh, you know, doing social media marketing and branding and all that kind of stuff, like joining a fitness group is not really gonna make sense, obviously. So make sure the two or three groups that you're really hanging out with in are places that you can actually go and share value that people want to hear about obviously I mean I think that's a little common sense but I just want to put it out there show up hard in less groups you know just be there every day and you don't have to be hanging out in there all day long but gosh for 15 minutes go into those groups and really get active really engage really See, again, the question you want to ask yourself every day is how can I help people today? And they're, they're hanging out in those groups. And, you know, I can tell you, like, when a group gets really big, it's hard for the main person that's running it to be answering all the questions, to be the one that's giving everybody all the assistance. They need that help. They're relying on people to step up. So that's where you come in, okay? So... This is very short and sweet, as always. If you want more tips like this, hop on my newsletter at meetjenjohnson.info, and I'll be able to send you all kinds of fun stuff. Thank you for tuning in, and I will talk to you later. Adios!